McCarthy. I'm your pop. Um, when and why did you start boxing? I kind of was born in the boxing. My dad boxed. All my, I have 12 brothers and sisters. My three older brothers boxed. So I kind of was born into it. My mom, your mom, mom's family, her dad boxed, her brothers boxed. So it was just kind of something I started doing from the time I was a child. And I had my first fight in 1976. I was nine years old. Uh, how often did you train for your fights? Um, you know, I, I was in the gym all the time. It was pretty much year-round. And when I had a big fight coming up, I'd really train hard. I'd run and um, a lot of uh, lifting weights and, and in the gym every night sparring. So. <laughs> What was my dad's best qualities as a fighter? He had heart, and he always wanted to le he learn that. I mean, he, could, he always wanted to learn more. I mean, you know, like he went to go farther. You know, like he he had problems home. Like I think his father passed away and stuff like that. And he, you know, he had a pretty rough life as far as I know. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, how often did you work with my dad when he was ch work every, boxing? Every chance I had a possible to, to do. Mm -hmm. You know, there wasn't many guys that did stick with me, but he's one of the guys who did with me. And uh, who were some other significant fighters you trained? I trained Hank Quinn, I trained uh, Monty Shirk, I worked with Multi Taylor, I know a lot of guys I worked with. I mean, mm -hmm. <coughs> a lot of guys from the area? From the area and stuff like that. How many times have you fought my dad and what were the outcomes? Two times. They were both knockouts. I won one and he won one. And when and why did you stop boxing? Um, I stopped boxing pretty much when I met your mother. Um, I, it was a tough way to make a buck. And the hard living, getting, you know, training was the hardest thing. You know, really dedicating yourself because it's not like baseball or basketball. You have to be someone who's trying to hurt you. So you got to make sure you're 100% ready in your mind and your body. And I just didn't have the hunger for it anymore. And after your grandpa died, I kind of lost some of my desires. How has boxing influenced your life after you stopped boxing? Um, I think it was a great thing in my life. It taught me never to quit. Uh, it taught me to hang in there no matter how bad things got. Um, and it kind of kept me even keel no matter how good things get or how bad things get, try to stay steady. Um, I met a lot of great people through boxing, and um, just I think it learn you know you kind of learn to be uh, kind of confident, believe in yourself. So I think it influenced my life a lot. Who was the toughest person you ever fought? The best boxer I ever fought was Melder Taylor. He was a world champ, won the Olympic gold medal in '76 or '84. He was the best boxer I ever boxed. Toughest. I fought a kid named Angel Gomez, who was a pretty decent pro, and uh, could really punch, and he was strong. And what was your record when you were boxing? I was 79 and six as an amateur, and I had seven what they call the uh, pro am fights, where I still stayed amateur, but I fought pros. How did it feel getting back in the ring for the Thanksgiving charity event? It was awesome. Um, I think the great thing about it was. Uh, disciplining myself to get in shape. You remember I was about 100 and almost 200 pounds when I started training for it. I went in that night in the gym at 153 pounds so I got myself in great shape. It was great going through that whole process of training hard and kind of remembering that you're always a fighter deep down in your heart. Um, you know, kind of remembered who I was and who I still am. It was fun. The, it was fun seeing all the guys you hadn't seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was good.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.